Welcome to match day two of the Daggers Essex Alliance Senior Division campaign. Today sees the first midweek of the season for the Daggers, and we start by going through the lineup. Rob Balbuza keeps his place in goal. An unchanged back four of Fritz on the left, Liam on the right, set about Perrin, Odell, Dane, and Chris. Midfield three again of JT, Derek, and Liam. Team rounded off by a front three of Richie. Christopher and Scott coming in to lead the line against his old team Blue Marlin. So as we can see there is Bailey, Kane, Jordan, George and Tatenda. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about today, George? I've been buzzing about it. <laughs> Want to get a win. Need to get it under our belts. First one. See, first. The first game was a little bit. Well, we, need, we needed the points. At least we didn't lose. But it was close to winning. <laughs> The boys are in very good spirits before the game. Today is a kickoff at Barking FC. Blue Marlin in the blue and white, Dagnum in their red and black kit. As I say, first midweek of the season for the Daggers. Blue Marlin coming off the back of a heavy defeat on Saturday. Dagnum drawing 1 1 with Brimsdown on the opening day. Blue Marley with an early bit of pressure though. Dagon did start quite slow in this game, not like them at all, but it took them a while to find their rhythm and Blue Marlin used the pitch to the full advantage. Played out wide really nicely, a lot of long balls onto the wing and to the channels. Dagon just had to find their rhythm, but great ball there by Derek. Frees Richie, but not able to do anything with that shot and straight away is hit on the counter again. <laughs> Liam leaving a mark early doors, just letting him know that it's not going to be an easy battle going through that middle. Half cleared away there by Jordan. The ball's left at the edge of the box. Dagnum players swarming on it though. Straight away, Fritz has recovered very nicely. Looks to set Richie free. Just over here the pass. Unfortunately, the ball runs out of play. Blue Marlin looking to bounce back from that defeat in the opening fixture, as I say. Dagnum looking to capitalise and carry on building on their opening day draw. Looking to keep that unbeaten start to the season. As a big knock forward there by Liam. Heavy touch by the Blue Marlin defender. Good ball across to Richie. Heavy touch there by Derek, but he's managed to hold the player off. Plays a nice ball into the channel to Christopher. No, he's got good feet. He's a nippy little player. Good little link up there, Christopher and Derek. Skips past the player nicely. Good ball in, flashes across the box. No one on the end of it. The chance goes begging there for Dagnum. Should have done better. Fritz is collected on the edge of the box. Knocks it back, sticks towards Christopher. Just unable to reach it. We've seen he's got an absolute leap on him. Scott, come in. Scott, come in. He's got a long throw, isn't it, boys? Yeah, but the thought is there for him to knock on. In the back. Keep going, boys. Hold on, Scott. Man, you! Lovely there. Man, you! Beautiful ball. Lucky. One, Derek! Oh, come on, lad. Just whip it in. Man, you! Man, you! Man, Dagnum again, not quite being able to break through the Blue Marlin defence yet, but a big knock over the top by Rob. He's got a fantastic kick on him, good little flick there as well. Sets Christopher free, that touch from the Blue Marlin defender just managed to deviate the path ever so slightly. Dagnum looking to switch it up here as well, now a play out from the back. Ball goes across to Jordan into Fritz as well. Good little clip into the channel for Richie to run onto. Good little pace as well. Blue Marlin defender tries to shepherd him out, but Richie's managed to find the inside. Oh, he's gone for the near post. Wrong option now. I think should have looked to square it across the box. Again, no early little early little signs of pressure. Although Dagnum have started too well, they have started quite slow. The gaps are coming, and there will be chances. And again, we see it there. JT nicking the ball ever so nicely. Great push out of his feet. 
Blue Marlin defender does ever so well. Big challenge there. Goes to the ground in the box. Mistimes that. And it could be a pen, but fair play to him. Got the full ball there. Great challenge. See a big knock into the box there by Chris. Dagham not winning the flick on. And the ball just comes flying back in again. Great header there. Great defending. Can deal with those long balls. There's no problem. The defensively been absolutely sound so far this season. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. Lights on. Everybody's shining. You dig? Number 10. Yeah, Scott, that's clean. Dagnum looking to recycle the ball here in the midfield, see what they can do, see what options are available. Christopher cuts inside. Ball pops back out to Liam. Oh, heavy touch, so he's caught there by the winger. We'll say this blue mile winger had a fantastic game for that. Gave Liam a real test. But we know he doesn't give up, and we see there. Good slide challenge wins the ball back. Blue Marlin again looking to capitalise on Dagnum's slow start, and that's a good ball out wide. Just cuts inside Fritz, driving forward into the box as well. Ball goes across. Oh, that's a fantastic challenge. Last hit challenge there, reads it so well, sees it, it's going man front post, blocks the shot off, slides in ever so nicely. And Blue Marlin looking to recycle it again. Deep cross into the box. Wins the first header. Dagnum just not quite picking up the first or seconds at the moment. It's not good enough. We know we need to step it up. Again, smashed into the box. No problem for Rob. Manages to get his hands on it. Smothers it nicely. Dagnum, no, they just got to find their foothold in the game. That's a good challenge there by Liam into the winger. Just a little bit static at the moment. But Derek, great strength there. Turns the defender. Superb ball. Slides through nicely to Scott. Just a couple of inches away. Great vision though. Good pace on the ball as well. Another step or two. And he's there. And Derek looks for the ambitious. Not quite on target. But it's a range finder. We have seen Derek score from that distance before. There's no problem. And we always say shots win games. There's no problem. Good throw into the box. Skips it. Bounces. Bit of confusion. Oh, Chris for the back post. Just unable to reach it. Sticks out of toe. Oh, how the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck is that? Ow! Oh, that's fucked up. Bro, it just tripled along the, the fucking goal line, bro. See, Nana there rightfully unhappy that the boys didn't take that chance and convert it. Should be 1 0 up by now. And that's just a smash away by Christopher. Not good enough there in front of goal. They can just look a little bit lethargic. Obviously, they played on Saturday as well. So it is a big test for the boys coming through. A lot of them not played midweeks before. That's a fantastic header there by Liam at right back. Scott manages to nick the ball. Gets tripped up by the player though and knocks it out wide to Christopher again. Just finding joy down that wing. Oh, that's a very late challenge. That's a naughty one. Yes! Get in the box then. Whoa! Oh, that's a yellow! Where's the yellow? That was one of the first of a few big challenges that went in throughout the game. It did get a little bit meaty at points and the referee did have to go to his pocket a few times. There were over a couple of decisions later on down the line. No, that no more fouls, please. He's had a little bit more than a yellow. We'll get to them. How's he winning again, Just a little bit too stacked. Not quite winning that first or second ball. JT looking to sweep there. up though. Well done. Fine, that's fine. That is the half time whistle. Both teams going in nil nil at the break. Dagnum, no, it's not good enough. They've got to step up. They did start slow in this game. Blue Mollin had some very decent chances as well. Dagnum's had a couple. Could have easily swung either way in that first half. Boyers, no, they need a reaction. And we see two subs here coming at the half time. Bailey comes on and Kane replaces Scott up top as well. Looking to have some impetus and get some firepower going forward. Blue Marlin with a kickoff and they start again playing around at the back. First half definitely seen the case of both teams' defences doing their jobs very well, shutting out their main attacks from both sides. 
this game's finally in the balance. It could take something as simple as a, a set piece, a through ball, things like that. Like that, for example, fantastic ball from Derek. Kane's driving on, taking one too many touches, and that's a fantastic challenge by the Blue Marlin defender. Credit where credit's due, he's read that ever so well. Gone to ground nicely, managed to nick the ball away. Kane's just got to pull that out of his feet, stick that one in the top corner. We've seen he's got a fantastic shot on him. The chances are coming. This one, for example, he skips over the defender so nicely. Looks to place it in that top corner. That's a fantastic save by the Blue Marlin keeper. Dives across to his right hand side, gets two big hands on it, pushes it out wide. But the gaps are starting to come. The pressure is on. Dagnall's starting to pile forward. Really starting to put some impetus in those attacks. And we can see it here again. Another corner just batted away. Blue Marlin looking to hit on the counter. they have done countless times in that game. Let's just have a look at Liam down that right hand side, by the way. Absolute road runner. Pretty sure I can see some flames behind those feet. He's burned up that rubber crumb and got himself back in. Fantastic to see a defender with so much passion and determination to get back in. It's exactly what you want. Dagnall defensively doing well here, getting in a good shape, getting men behind the ball and just forcing Blue Marlin to take pops and wide. And that is a good 10, 15 yards wide. Don't mind that if we can force Blue Marlin to keep taking those long shots. Feel comfortable dealing with that. We've got a fantastic goalkeeper on the sticks. And that's a superb challenge. The wing has been playing ever so well throughout the game. And Chris has just let him know you are not getting through here. Not today, son. And Blue Marlin there with an early free kick. Does so well. Oh, great challenge again. All good cut inside there. Ambitious looking to dink it over Rob, but like we said, shows great hands, manages to keep it so well, pats it down and collects it nicely. Another sub here, sees the tender coming on for Derek. Energy in abundance, he had a fantastic game when he come on. Big throw into the box once more. Bit of pinball, and he goes out for a corner. Liam looking to put in a good delivery, we've seen it many a times in the last few games. Great ball into the box. Ooh, the Marlin defender looking to Help us out there and try and score an own goal himself. Oh, what a save. And again, cleared off the line. Another couple of chances there. Dagnum have got. Just go begging. Just scrambled it away at the last minute. Another sub for the Dagger. See George Martin coming on, replacing JT in the middle. Deep ball into the box there. Not quite dealt with in the first instance, but Liam with a good knock forward. And again, Liam A looking to follow that up. George runs in. Oh, that's a, that's a late one. And the ref has inexplicably given a foul against George. Let's rewind that back and have a look at this replay. Heavy touch there by that blue mining player. And you can see he lunges in, stud shown straight onto George's foot. Not only is that not a foul against George, should be a booking the other way round as well. You can see George is clearly... Pulled his legs backwards and not go into the challenge. And unfortunately, that was the first of a few very poor decisions by the official. Appreciate it's a hard job. They don't have the benefit of a replay. But something as simple as that could potentially be a dangerous challenge towards a Daggers player and actually gets given against him. It's a great touch there by Christopher. And a lovely slide ball. Lionel's raised a flag. Kane's just gone ever, ever so slightly quicker. He stole his long legs. A couple of inches too much. Rob looks to start the attack from the back, rolls out to Bailey. Good vision of play on the wing. Great ball. Great touch by Richie. Oh, he's brought the man down. Oh, hang on a minute. Arm round the neck, and there's a potential punch there as well. Ugly scenes. Not at all what we should be seeing. That's got to be a booking for the original pull. And then for the grab run of throw and push to the ground as well. Disgraceful scenes. Let's have a look back at this. First one there, stops a promising attack, pulls him down. Absolutely no need for that. You can see him on the floor, grabs him around the throat and pushes him down. That's two yellow card offences. Clear as day. Unfortunately, this is where we said the officials' decisions went horribly wrong. How on earth he's given just a yellow and a player stands there laughing as well. You can see him there, bottom corner. Big smile on his face. Knows full well he's got away with one there. Should have been a red card. First yellow for pulling the man down. Second one for the grab round and throw on the floor. Not what you want to see in football. Not necessary whatsoever. And Blue Marlin, very lucky not to be down to 10 men here. It's a great pass by George as well. Looks to free Christopher. 
just unable to get in behind that last defender, but the chances of Pile Daggers really fired up by that. No, there's a little bit unjust in that decision. We have to keep moving. Well cleaned up. Ball switched out wide to Jordan. It's a great clip down the line as well. Good vision. Christopher looking to run onto it. He's got a good bit of pace about him, but he's got two Blue Marlin defenders around him. Oh, he's been pulled around the neck and then tripped. Second one, I think he does win the ball, but the first time he does clearly have his arms raised. Good chest out of the back by Chris. Holds the pass. Clips out wide. And somehow, Richie has given us offside despite the fact that he stood there and waited for the pass. You can see the frustration and disappointment on the, the Dagnon bench's face there. Good touch by Robert. Fantastic ball out wide again. Richie's managed to nick it forward. Oh! That's a two-footed challenge all day long and the referee for some reason has not allowed the advantage to be played. Let's have a look at this again. Richie just manages to pot the ball. Absolutely no reason for a player to be going in two-footed there. If Richie's leg's planted, that's a potential leg breaker. And I cannot believe it. But once again, the player only receives a yellow card. If that's not pulled back for a red, for a two-footed challenge, out of control, it's reckless, endangers the safety of opponent. By letters of the law, that has to be a red card and Blue Marlin should be down to nine men in this game. Once again, a very poor decision and Dagnan rightly feel aggrieved. Blue Marlin looking to come forward there. Good chest, lazy display outside the boot. Oh, what a fantastic save. Rob's read the flight of the ball and manages to palm it over the bar. Fantastic stop and a great knockout wide again to Richie. It's a three on two here, but pass is poor. It's not good enough. Kane's looking to find himself in space. Leo with another great challenge, wins the ball back. A fair play to the blue minor defender, gets back up and wins it again. Liam's just saying, no, thank you. I'm going to make sure I get that back. Resets it to Christopher, looks to open up. Again, blue minor midfielder throws himself in the way, manages to smother the shot and a chance goes begging. Once again, we see the vision here from Rob. Great knock forward. Good bounce in the cane. Oh, he's climbed all over his back. And that is rightly a free kick. You see Chris here comes running up. Ask the ref, can I take that? Yes, please. Lovely early free kick. Richie just hesitates for a brief moment. And unfortunately allows the Blue Marlin defender to nip in and nick the ball away. See, the final sub of the game is Jordan Alessandro comes on to replace Christopher. A big knock forward there by Chris again. Adesanya looks to close down a blue mining player. And that is the full time whistle. A frustrating stalemate sees Dagnum and Blue Marlin finish nil-nil. Chances for both teams throughout the game. Dagnum started the first half too slow, but picked up the pace massively in the second half and had by far the better chances. Two potential red cards of Blue Marlin. Some very, very questionable decisions leave Dagnum feeling the grief coming away from this game. Not happy with that result at all. No full world up. We have to be better. We cannot afford to start the first 45 minutes the way we did. And we'll say credit to Blue Marlin. Keep made some good saves. And their wing was fantastic throughout the game. It's confirmation of the result there. Nil, nil. And a very good attendance. I've totaled up numbers. 60 in attendance. Thank you so much for all your support. And we look forward to next week's game as we face Wolfram Star Reserves back at Barking and Dagenham College.